Alright, what's up you guys? Uh, I think I made multiple videos like I said in the past and there are real old videos and I little by little, you know, you look back on your old videos and you know what? You're listening to them and says, damn, that that sucks. It's why the only ones that you even look at them who know you, you know, and uh, they're listenable to people that have been following you for a long time, but um, usually I put text on them to explain things real well and they're with you on this subject matter, but I'm going to do another replacement video. I call them replacement videos because I always wanted to get around it. You know, some of your videos are old, so whatever subject matter, whatever activity, you kind of like to replace them. If you don't replace them, you kind of got attached to some of your videos with particular activities, your favorite ones, but you want to replace some. But anyway, on with it. This is a replacement video for some of my older videos that I can that I talked about were one of the most overlooked things you know everybody talking about gun control the right to have a gun everybody wants to take guns off of everybody but there's this other thing that people overlook and they practically laugh in your face but some people know it uh kind of goes hand in hand with the pussification of america and if you're one of them people that subscribe to Every single video talk about the pussification of America and dumbing down this relates where my argument, laugh if you want to, you know, anybody who doesn't like what I'm saying, they don't want to just take guns away from you, but they want to take other things away from you too physically that people that their pseudo authorities are afraid of, regressive liberals are afraid of, regressive conservatives are afraid of, and uh, they're doing it to a point where they're asking you questions on job applications like two, which I'm going to give an example in a minute. But And they also want to suppress uh, suppress you with belittling, saying something silly, dangerous, illegal. I mean, I'm not talking about guns. I'm talking about literal physical activities, everything from exercise, having a punching bag, or, or even... Um, weight set in your house, you know, I mean, uh, one of the things I've noticed in a, uh, one or two particular workplaces that agencies that you can actually uh, sign up with, and uh, they used to have these questionnaires, I've uh, seen a couple of them, where literally, uh, that they want to practically, you know, belittle you by Forcing you to have to say yes or no to something that's none of their business. Uh, they do it under the guise of concern that, uh, you know, you do got assholes that uh, maybe in a workplace that maybe for no real good reason go beat people up. They do that shit on the streets, beat them down to take people's money. But, but most of the time people are afraid in places, though, too, that if you challenge them or snub them or stand up to them that uh they want you to be intimidated yeah i mean people want obedient work or strong and smart enough to do the paperwork and do the labor do the paperwork uh run the machines do the paperwork and just passively sit there and take shit you know that's why they even prefer that you make as many kids as possible and live on credit and be in debt as possible so you're pretty much got to sit there and lay down and take it so to speak but uh, are you going to beat up or harm or cause the death of anybody? No, but yet you'll have questionnaires in a couple of these work agencies, like my favorite. I, one of my favorite questions here. I mean, I'm going to go through these questions real quick. Uh, do you, How often do you feel you have to defend yourself? For, yeah, somewhat often, very often, yada, yada. And do you think... Uh, Having ability and being skillful with your fist is important. And you have to be like moderately important, somewhat important, or very important, or not important at all. And of course, if they do that on every job, you have to lie your ass off. And these questions are like designed to supposedly filter out anybody who uh, might do unnecessarily things, you know, that you shouldn't be doing over stupid shit. And, a workplace or even out there on the street or even in your house you know beating your wife and things like that but and there was things like that yeah and and then and, and uh, one of the 
questions also was, do you have any ability with your fists or anything? And I remember with the lady at the agency I was working for, when I signed out, filled out the question, I kind of joked, I says, uh, if you're taking legitimate uh, training in a karate dojo, a boxing club or something, uh, have a punching bag in your house and you admit to it, that means you can't get a job here. And she's like, just waving it off, you know. But, but you know, the people who uh, have questionnaires like this in some of these jobs are like regressive liberals, different kind of people that think every damn thing is dangerous and uh, they don't only think that take guns off of you, they want to take just everything off of you and want you to be just totally submissive and uh, walk around with skinny arms and skinny legs and this t-shirt and shorts. Where these uh, dress, act and dress maybe like uh, you're perpetually 10 years old and these t-shirt and shorts and these skinny legs and arms. Or walk around, you know, not being, calling people fat, but, you know, there are people in the fat who can pick you up right over the head and slam your ass too, but somebody that has, they'd rather have somebody that's slow and a big belly that can't get around, you know, they would want you to be like one of them wrestlers that are somewhat fat, like you see on the wrestling shows, you know, that they're kind of fat, so to speak, but they're wrestlers, you know, like, uh, you want to name a few wrestlers that you've seen if you watch the uh, WWF in the 80s or something. But he told you in school, don't go imitate. I remember back when I was in school, they said, don't allow, don't say, don't, nobody in the playground imitating the holds that they do because, yes, you can hurt somebody even playing around, you know? Unlike uh, take, being on a wrestling team in high school or college where they have mats and safety gear. It makes sense, but... Um, it got, it's gotten to a point, uh, where, uh, yes, I seen these questionnaires in a couple of work agencies. It's not everywhere, but a few of them I have seen them. And, um, uh, and there is actually a point too, where if you're, um, uh, to walk around too cocky or, or any kind of a way in a workplace and that you pretty much blow a trumpet or if it's known too well, so to speak, or, or if you run some kind of fitness thing on social media about fitness and any kind of thing, and you're known to have rebellious views, like politically or anything else, uh, they can literally uh, fire you from your job or uh, your job could maybe, what do you like uh, turn you in as some kind of, have you investigated as some possible uh, terrorist like or something like that. I mean, I even had some guy at work where you almost want to just bitch slap these people. Uh, you know, you walk around, like to work, you carry a backpack, you know what I mean? If uh, you walking distance to a job or whatever, you take uh, the poor man's Harley Davidson or a car. I call my the bike my poor man's Harley Davidson. You have alternative ways to get to work and not pay car insurance, so you carry a backpack, right? You don't want to pay car insurance to pay uh, give away these people your money, which you hard earn. But so you're carrying a backpack, and he makes some remark, "Oh, you have a bomb in there," and you almost want to bitch slap these people because you know they're gonna people how crazy people are you know they're good can get you in trouble for all kind of damn shit you know what i mean and um but i mean things are getting like really crazy like that you know and um uh, people sort of laugh it off and then they ignore it but and if you even talk about it you're like some kind of they'll either look at you like you're nuts or but when you show them the proof or whatever this is Oh, you got to obey the law, or uh, that's just the way it is, you know what I mean? Um, and it, to a point where uh, I think even things like physical fitness, if you have the wrong views, physical fitness, damn, there has to be a cult activity or something. And pretty soon, you know what I mean? You'll have people stopping you on the street or whatever, just because you have some kind of view that's none of their damn business. But, uh, That either people either not even so much scared and paranoid, they're resentful, you know what I mean? The 
people that stick up for the system or uh, stick up for whatever uh, thug element that's out there that they uh, worship or whatever that uh, they're going to tell on you because uh, you know they think uh, they, just because they think they should bow down they think you should too but uh, even if you don't have any intentions like go around and doing shit like other people are doing uh, all you have to do nowadays you don't have to do anything really violent and be some kind of asshole like that all you got to do now is just some kind of physical fitness thing you engage in or if you're putting it out there and you walk around with a cocky look on your face because you you know that they know you're doing it and giving the hint that it just as a don't even think about it in you and there you know what i mean uh, they get mad because you're not intimidated it's psychologically intimidated you know what i mean but um and usually uh the way i tell people the train even though you know not everybody's going to be bruce lee or anything but you got to have a kind of a toughness out there with anything from knuckle push-ups to different kind of things like that just because uh, you do nothing, you walk around with just uh, the way you are, people get away with all kind of shit. Not that, uh, not that you're gonna go do anything either. It's almost like the psychological deterrent is actually a good uh, incentive because anything else really, uh, if it ain't properly done and legally done, is is against the law. You know what I mean, too, as it is, but but even in the public schools, they want to make everything dangerous and wrong and making everything violent. And anything that you disagree with verbally, you're all automatically the aggressor. If you don't, uh, if you verbally defend yourself or question something, uh, you're automatically the aggressor. And don't talk. Listen, you shut up. The, the typical thing don't talk listen and the uh and the sarc and the comment uh nothing's ever your fault which the person always above you that has the social or financial or whatever advantage over you a uh, higher position or of authority any kind of advantage over you they have like that yeah, they're going to use that but, oh, it doesn't apply to them. It never applies to somebody else above you on their high position or high horse. It always applies to you. And everybody that uses a statement like that is always, they, whether they are an authority over you, they presume to be an authority over you somehow. You're supposed to just shut up. And, oh, nothing's ever your fault. And uh, But they have the license to say that. But... Uh, they're immune from that. You can't ever tell somebody above you any kind of way, or somebody that, or if they don't have to be an authority, they pretend to be an authority and they talk down to you. You know, maybe they're an authority in a way that's like uh, that they just simply uh, put their cells above you. They like talk down to you, that kind of thing. I mean, common. Uh, it's not uncommon that. Uh, you do anything physically to better yourself or say you could walk around with a cocky look on your face and just walk away from them and snub them in such a way to say, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go there with you, you know, because uh, I know what it is nowadays. Unlike other areas out in the street where if I don't exercise common sense, I can get my ass kicked. You got these others over there that could speak to people any way they please and, uh, for the fact that they could speed down 911, and if you were dumb enough to physically kick their butt, so to speak, uh, they would get intention and cards from all their friends and get to be on the news and see how violent this person is. That's the game people play. And I've talked to people, other relatives, to get upset about things too. That I actually believe I do a video on this too. Or people actually want to egg people on to do violent things. And they like to try to hurt people's feelings in a way that they hope that you would want to commit suicide. A lot of people out there, it goes back from when people were in school. They do this in workplaces, do they, they do that out there. 
if they could get you to get all upset and commit suicide, they'd do it and be happy. Even grown people with respectable positions and jobs that are above you or work around you or did, uh, or whenever shit like that, uh, if, if they can achieve that, they will. Or if they can egg you on to do something. It's almost like they want to be a martyr. There's people out there that actually want to be martyrs. They actually want to risk serious, serious harm and risk death to a certain extent where uh, I'm not going to be dumb enough to do some of the shit that I've seen people do in, or act in workplaces. If I was dumb enough to do half of the shit I've seen people uh, try to pull on me in workplaces, in right in the town where I live, I get my ass killed. I'd be beaten within inches of my life or get shot. So I may sound like an asshole here, but I got common sense where some of these other people don't. But they hide behind their positions, their their whatever high horses they have, and um, they think they have their that they think this safe little world they has is for have is forever. I mean, what if this uh, safe little world of theirs collap collapses? Uh, in which case my ass would be in big trouble too, along with everybody else, you know. And I would almost like to see uh, the look on some of their faces, but the only thing would be I'd be too concerned with watching my own ass to be worried about the look on their faces. You know? But, or, 